So this video follows directly on from our video on deriving Maclaurin expansion. And we're going to have a look at how to do some exam questions on the top of the Maclaurin expansion. So first of all, we should note that in the formula booklet, you're actually given quite a few different formulae here. Um, so ready-made Maclaurin expansions where they've done the work for you. So we can use these to our advantage in an exam. So we're going to use these now. We're going to look at how we can use the formulae given to answer exam questions. So let's take this question here. So there it is there. So it asks us first to write down and simplify the first three non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for the natural log of 1 plus 3x. So let's have a look at the formula now, see if there's any that look helpful. So the one that most closely matches and appears to be most useful is this one here that I'm highlighting yellow. But it doesn't say 1 plus 3x, it says 1 plus x. Well, actually, in this formula here, this one here, the question, 1 plus 3x, we've just replaced this x here with 3x. So we can use this formula here, but just replace the x's with 3x's. So let's have a go at that. So part one, write down and simplify. And the key there is write down. So it's implying that it's an easy thing to do. So it is an easy thing to do because here, the formula is actually given. So what we're going to do, we're just going to write this out, but replace the x's with 3x's. So ln of 1 plus 3x equals 3x take 3x squared over 2 plus 3x cubed over 3 and we only wanted the first three terms so that's it we're done for that so we need to simplify though the question did ask us to simplify equals 3x take 9 over 2x squared plus so 3 cubed divided by 3 is 9 x cubed and so on so that's the first part answered so part two asks us to find the first three non-zero terms of the McLaren series for e to the x times the thing we've just found. So actually looking up here, we've got an expansion for e to the x as well that we can use. So that's this one here. So if we use that, we get 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial. So e to the x times log of 1 plus 3x equals and the expansion was 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 and we're multiplying that by what we've just found 3x minus 9x squared over 2 plus 9x cubed and by the first three non-zero terms, that means the smallest power, the next smallest power, and the next smallest power to that. We only want the first three powers of x. So equals, let's multiply it out. So we get 1 times 3x, which is 3x. Take 9x squared over 2 plus 9x cubed. Then multiply in the second bracket by x. So plus 3x squared, take 9x cubed over 2. And the next one's going to give us an x to the 4. We've already got powers 1, 2, and 3 of x, the first three terms. So power of 4 we can ignore. Then timesing everything in the second bracket by x squared over 2. So plus 3x cubed over 2. And anything else that we multiply is going to give us a power higher than 3. Okay, so that becomes, so 3x, now let's concentrate on the x squareds. So we've got 3x squared, take 9 over 2x squared. So let's not leave anything to chance. 3 take 9 over 2 is minus 3 over 2, so minus 3 over 2x squared, then x cubed, We've got 
9. Take 9 over 2. Obviously it is 9 over 2. Then add on 3 over 2. Equals 6. So plus 6x cubed. The question answered. Let's box our answers now. As any good answer should. Sometimes I forget. But whenever you remember. You should put a box around your answers. Make it obvious to the examiner. What they're actually marking. So let's have a look at another one now. So this question says it's given that f of x equals log of 3 plus x. And what this question is going to do, it's going to guide us through a way of doing this question. But after we've done it, I'm going to propose a quicker and easier way of doing it. Obviously in an exam, you should always go with the way that they want you to do it. However, I just think it's important to point out this different way as well. So... It's given that f of x equals log of 3 plus x. Find the exact values of f of naught, f dash naught, and show that f double dash naught equals minus a ninth. Okay, so f of naught equals log of 3 plus 0 equals log 3. Then to find f dash of naught, we'll first differentiate equals 1 over 3 plus x times the differential of x, which is just 1. Therefore, f dash 0 equals a third. So now we'll differentiate again. So we've got f double dash x equals the differential of 3 plus x to the power of minus 1. equals minus 3 plus x to the minus 2, which means that f double dash of 0 equals minus 3 plus 0 to the minus 2 equals minus a ninth. So there we've done, we've done part 1. We've shown exactly what I wanted us to show. So now part 2. Hence, write down the first three terms of the Maclaurin series of f of x, given that x can lie between minus 3 and 3. Now, the expansion is only valid for values between minus 3 and 3, for reasons which we won't go into now. So, hence, write down the first three terms. Okay, so f of x equals, just to remind us of the formula, so f of x equals f of naught, which is log 3 plus f dash naught x, so a third x, f double dash of naught x squared over 2 factorial. So minus 1 ninth over 2 factorial <clears throat> is minus 1 18th x squared. And there's the answer. So that's exactly the way you should do it in an exam question that guides you through it like that because the marks are well defined. It tells you what it wants you to do. Then it says hence. However, I think there's a better way of expanding log of 3 plus x. So let me show you it now. It involves using the formula for log of 1 plus x. So we're going to use this log of 3 plus x and we're going to use the above formula. So what we need to do, this formula only works when there's a 1 plus at the front. We saw before in a previous example that if we replace the x with 3x we can just replace all the x's in the formulae with 3x. However, it's not the case here because it's actually the 1 that's been replaced. So what we can actually do, we can use log laws to help us here. So equals log, and let's take out a factor of 3. So that becomes 1 plus 1 third x, like that. And now we can use log laws. To separate that out so it's a multiplication equals log 3 plus log of 1 plus 1 third x and now we've got something that has a 1 plus at the front therefore we can work with it so equals log 3 plus 
and we'll replace the x with a third x. So plus one third x, take, and we'll again we'll replace the x with a third x. So a third x squared over two, which is equal to log three plus a third x, take one eighteenth x squared exactly as we found before. And again, if you're not guided through it in an exam, if the question doesn't require you to do it a certain way, then I think that this way here is the quickest way to do it using the formula. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.